All right, everyone. We are at third space in Soho, and uh, I'm about to take this elevation challenge, which uh, is, uh, sounds really, really tough. Essentially, we're going to be in this hypoxia chamber, which uh, simulates 3,000 meters of altitude by reducing the oxygen. That's why hypoxic, hypoxic means literally no oxygen. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said. I didn't even know what it was, but. Uh, I checked it out now, I gave it a try to just have a feel of it and I was already out of breath. So this is the leaderboard, people who attempted this challenge. Uh, hopefully I'll be like somewhere down here. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a try. Let's check it out. Hi Charlie. Hello, mate. How's it going? Good. You ready? Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I hope so. So this is Charlie. He's, uh, he has the best time of uh, all the staff, right? I do. Yeah, so, you know, like, I'm never gonna be in this territory, but I'll give it a go. So, essentially the challenge consists in a, a time, uh, time challenge through these four stations. The first one is, what is this? This is a Versa Climber. Versa Climber, which I've never even seen before. But uh, apparently, you just hold on to these things and you pretend that you're climbing like this. I set it like in a really hard setting, even though he didn't recommend it. <laughs> but uh, you know, like I, cardio is not my speciality in this late in this latest couple of years. So I'm just gonna try and grind it. Same with the bike. I'm gonna do it uh, really hard, like in a hard setting. I need to do 1.5k of this, uh, 800 meters of that. 800 feet on this. 800 feet on that. Then we have this which is a sledge push, essentially there is a resistance uh, set to the maximum of course and I'll be pushing it for 50 meters 50 meters 50 meters and then I'm gonna go on here and run 1k with an incline of 2% as you can see the altitude is over 3000 meters and the oxygen is quite low I mean even <laughs> just talking it's a struggle uh, but you know, I'm well up for this, I'm very excited, so let's do this. What did I get myself into? <laughs> I just can't say no to these things. Alright, three, two, one, go.
Hey guys, well done. Well done. Great right effort. I'm about to see my breakfast again. How was that then? Hard. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, Deb, why don't I ever reply to that email? Like, I'm saying. Outstanding. Well, I. Fuck. That was uh, hard. It's <laughs> the only one that I can think of. Yeah, we got new for it. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. It helps. Oh, it's a hard spot. The first one was the hardest. Yeah, you ready? 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 Yeah, I started like crazy, like, and within like 10 seconds, did, uh, did, I, my modesty has to come in. You done well on the white bro, the white bro is strong in something. And the sled was okay as well, it's the first one and the last one. The bike, like I said, it's all about the pushing, Yeah. so I had the strength in the leg. It's just like, yeah, the cardio is not there. Uh, so what's the time? Are you going to tell me? 22, will it? 22? There you go, we need to get a picture of you. 21, 22. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was really hard. Um, I was obviously very confident about it because I always am. Uh, but I didn't expect it to be this hard. But I'm happy that I did it. It was very hard, especially because I wasn't familiar with the equipment. So it's difficult to devise a strategy. So how to pace yourself. And especially the climber at the beginning, something I'd never done before. And um, I started really like really really fast and immediately it hit me like I had to slow down and uh, I guess since this is really a vertical ascent that's why you really feel the weight I mean I'm 90 kg so that's not like the ideal climber physique um, the bike was the easiest part for me because of the strength in my legs uh, I've been building up with the, you know the leg training that I do. Like I train legs three times, three times a week, so I could really set it to the hardest and really grind. And I couldn't really feel it was such a day. He just I flew that part. Uh, the sledge pull, the sledge push uh, was also something I've never done before, especially with that machine. But I feel like it fared well. And then the run was hard because I had to really go slow. Uh, my legs were really burnt out. And you know, running is something I haven't done in literally two years. Um, but it was good. I mean, it's it makes a difference to do it in low in low oxygen condition. Um, it's a, sort of a throwback to the years when I lived near the Alps and I used to do trail running at really high altitude. My endurance was amazing back then because obviously when you have low oxygen, your body needs to eventually adapt, increasing your red cell count in order to carry more oxygen. But there are other advantages of hypoxia. Uh, for example, it stimulates tissue repair faster. Uh, my friend, uh, Mattia, who's a dentist and a surgeon, he administer low oxygen therapy, like usually they do it with a mask, to stimulate tissue growth and repair after surgery. So that's how effective it is. And when applied to training, 
then it really makes a difference. For example, if you're doing strength training, like a few minutes of you know cardio, cardiovascular exercise at low oxygen condition will really boost your tissue repair. So it's good for like bodybuilding as well in a way. But most importantly, the 10 minutes effort that you do in here will be like an hour of interval training outside. And I really love that, especially because with me, like I have so such little time to train. Like I, you know, when I'm in London, I train twice a day, but it's always like a really fast pace workout. I like, I like high intensity. I'm not afraid of pain, so I like to put myself through the pain. Like I like 10 minutes of really high pain, of like dragging along. So this is really like a cool thing. It's the only one that they have here in London. I wish they had more. We should come here more often. But yeah, definitely like an awesome experience. I want to try it again. Um, probably like I should try and come here often and you know, measure the progress. It's about time I go back to cardio, you know, it's been, a, it's been a while. So, done. I'm not even like, you know, I was hoping to be like down here, but I'm pro probably in the floor below. I don't even know what I did. Maybe 20, was it 20? Something? Like, something really embarrassing. <laughs> But uh, I tried and that's the most important thing. <laughs>